Now it's time for the mystery month. Yep. I'm kind of excited, eh? I'm going to go get it. I like these. I'll go get it. Mystery month. You actually really do like these mystery months. It's a cool idea. If you think the same, give it a thumbs up. Boom, boom. Look, Greg. What is it? I can't tell by the box. It's, it's a like... mystery. It's a mystery. I like the box. It's very cool. Very cool. Where did you get it from? CT as well, yeah? CT. So they actually, parts? um, we'll unbox it and I'll tell you a bit more about it actually. Yeah. Let's um, get into what do I think? It. So, exterior, you said, yeah? These are no, any, I didn't. You said exterior. If it'll finish and all we've been, on your car, most of the stuff we've done is exterior, so. Sure, why not? It's exterior. It gives you no information at all. It's literally a black box with minimal writing on it. It's got a part number. I'm trying really to guess it. That. And like, it's about to be opened. Let's unbox it then. Yeah, let's unbox it. We'll no find idea. out together. I have no idea at all. Let's do it. Let's work it out. I don't know what it's going to be, mate. Honestly, I have no idea. Just got to realise you're customising dreams, Greg. <laughs> okay. You just got to realise that. I have realised this. Let's just open it. Ready? It's not like a number plate cover, is it? Could be. Or it could be something else. Can't make it open. Right? Oh. What are you doing? Tape's proven a bit difficult, mate. <laughs> to be honest, I really do like that. It's designed the box, eh? It's really nice. Well, here we go. What have we got? Oh. What, oh. what is this? Oh, is that a lot? It is, mate. What is that for? That's the bottom fog light. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. That's really nice, eh? Yeah, so it's the bottom fog light. So uh, is it LED, is it? Yeah, so this one runs LED as opposed to the other one, which is just bulbs. Yeah. Uh, these are your reverse. This is your fog. Yeah. So that's what's, that's all that's on the stock one. Um, this basically runs as your nighttime lights, but like when your lights are on. Yeah. This will come on. Okay. Which doesn't happen on this one down here, because it's just a fog and just reverse. So this gives you a bit more functionality. Yeah. But you do have to... Do a bit of your own wiring okay to get that to happen okay so is, that, is it a straight clip in or no that is to your existing wiring harness yeah and that'll give you pretty much what you've got now with this fog and your re uh, your reverse yeah these two extra cables that are separate from your wiring harness yeah these are what you connect to your lights the back of your, your light lights. yeah in down here, yeah. so that when you yeah. when you break and when your lights are on, mm -hmm. that will power up this thing. Okay. So when I said I was running in to get some stuff for the mystery mod, yeah, it was basically wire taps. So wire taps are you basically yeah, yeah. it saves you having to cut and solder and crimp wires. You basically just put the two wires that you want to connect together. You put it in this wire tap, push down a metal lug, and it makes a connection between the two. So it looks pretty simple. Yeah, I'm hoping so. It looks nice though. I actually really like the design of it. Cool. So it'll finish. Yeah, it'll finish off the. It'll finish off everything I've been doing, mainly on the on the back end of it. So. Yeah, yeah. As far as I can tell, it's two 10 mil bolts, I think. Two 10 mil bolts at the top, and there's your my arch nemesis, the plastic clip. <laughs> there's one on each side. Yeah. And that's all it is to be able to slide it out the back, and then slide your new wiring harness through. But do the reverse and you're done. All right, let's do it. Two bolts on the top. Both 10 mil. Yeah. And then you've got two clips on each side, yeah? Yeah, two clips on each side. And that's the removal process and obviously I'm clipping the white harness. Which you do in the boot. Two. Boom, boom. 10 mil. Two 10 mils, and then what's the side ones feel like? They just usually pull out things, or? Yeah, they're those plastic, my nemesis. Oh, yeah. Do they're gonna be so hard to get, too. You got your panel popper? Yeah. Still gonna have to do it all by feel, but. Yeah. Because they're too lazy to jack up the car. And now the rear diffuser's on here. <laughs> oh. Got it? Nailed it. Okay, mate. What are we doing here, mate? So this needs to come off. Yep. So take your boot lining out, obviously. 
Um, and then my arch nemesis makes a comeback once again. There'd be more plastic bolts in this than there would real ones, I think. <laughs> yeah. So Weight reduction. There's Yeah, pretty much. There's three. One in the middle, two on either side. Mm -hmm. It's just as easy as popping that out. I've got the other two. That's it. That's it. And where's our wiring harness? Right here. So how do we get that wire to there? So we've got to unplug this. Yep. Probably going to need to take these off too. It runs down there. That's it there. Oh yeah, coming up through there. Yeah, so that little grommet comes on the new one as well. Yep. Yeah, so you squeeze the grommet to the size of the hole. Yeah. Push it through the hole. Yeah. Because you're not pulling it this way because the other side is attached to the light. Mm -hmm. So you're squeezing it and pushing it through so you can drag that end. The whole module through? Oh, yeah. the whole wire through. So once we've popped the cable out from the boot side yeah. and gotten the two clips and the two bolts out, yeah. grab this thing from the back, just pushes out. Clip. Yeah, yeah, you're right, that's supposed to be. Okay. That's it, ladies and gents. There's not much we can actually show you on this part, unfortunately. Well, Lee's done, he's put the two nuts back on the top. Um, actually, sorry, the screws, sorry. And put the two plastic clips on each side, and it's easy, well, yeah, all well done, Lee. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's just, we don't have enough light on it there. We've tried, the camera can't see anything, so you can already, you see the difference in it. We've done the uh, pre-test originally. We've got two options, well Lee has two options in what he wants to do. It's either have the light come on when he's put his foot on the brake or for it to come on when the lights are on, the tail lights to come on. We'll show you how to, um, how you can, you know, choose what you want. Uh, but it, it is very simple, very, very simple. So we've got the, as you can see, we'll hopefully see the grommets through. And you got your, wiring harness yeah that's um that's wired up mm -hmm. to click into the, the original spot yeah to essentially give you what you had before which yeah. is your fog your rear fog and your reverse and that just clips into the spot done just clips in there yep if I was to test that now the rear fog would be fine you can see the fog light and the reverse lights are on which is what's meant to be on because that's what's pre-wired. What isn't pre-wired is these two. So your black yep. is ground. Yep. And this is your active. Mm -hmm. So what's going on here is this this light is from CT Auto Parts. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> they've chosen a green wire and these tail lights are from CT Auto Parts as well, and they also use a green wire. Yeah. So the easiest way to find out is the back of this wiring harness. You can you've got your terminals, mm -hmm. and you're going to have the power there. Yeah. So the easiest way to find out what you want is to put your ground on, black to black. Hit the green. And. So, that is, as you can see, all of them are on. So the green is obviously the active for the tail lights, tail lights when yeah. they're on, in the running position. Yeah. If I unplug the green one, you go off. Yeah. And if I put it in red, nothing will happen. Nope. Because it's bright. You wouldn't give that a go? All right, so now it's wired up into the red cable, which is for the brake, and will mean 
obviously when you break it comes on what are you thinking mate plug in yeah i'm thinking break yeah yeah so we've only temporary uh, temporary done at the moment so we're gonna put these little clips in you got them clips lee so what were these called wire taps wire taps so the two wires go in the end yeah that metal lug comes down yeah pierces both wires and that then becomes the bridge between the two wires yeah and this just covers it so it doesn't short out anything but um, don't think that if you fold this over and push that down that it's going to pierce it. You don't. You need to use pliers to, okay. to crimp it. So I'll crimp the green and the red together. Yep. And the black and the black together with mm -hmm. another set. Yep. And that's... The Mystery mod Monday done. It was it was quite easy. Yeah, it was pretty simple. I wish the golf was like that. Just comes to that GGI and it's, it does not want to be modded. Nah, but it's got well, no choice. It's getting modded. Yeah, it's because they come out perfect. Okay, you yeah. need to settle down now. <laughs> it was, I actually really really do like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool design. Yeah, very nice, and the LEDs and matches the, the tail lights now. So. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, I do like that. So another thing is. Put down in the comments what kind of car you have, um, and if you use mod. It'd be interesting to see if people who just come to our channel for the 86 or the GTI, or if this is wide diverse than the people with different cars, it'd be cool to, cool, cool to know. It would be cool. The main point of the channel isn't just to mod the 86 and the GTI, I think the main point of the channel is to get people to do it. We are, car enthusiasts. We, yeah, we have complete no idea what we're doing every single time. There's not been one mod we know, we've known what to do. No. So comment down below what kind of car you have, um, and if you do mods and what kind of mods are, what, what kind of mods they are. Hmm. Um, we're, we're really interested, and yeah, we love hearing hearing from you. Love the comments. Yeah, absolutely. Love replying to you guys. Love the interaction. That's what I love about YouTube is the YouTube community and the people that watch. Yeah. So yeah, Brian G, Mystery Mod Mondays. We know you like them. You told us you liked them. You said more, please. Here's more. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know, buddy. We appreciate it. That's it. It is done. It is done for this week. Thanks again, guys. Like it if you like the video. Comment if you feel like it. And subscribe. Peace out, guys. Peace out.